good morning. We're going to put dinner on before we get anything else going at this morning. And let me tell you, today's Monday, and it's been a really Monday Monday already. Um, we're going to take this, uh, what is this called? A sirloin tip roast. I got this from Sam's Club. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in here. I am just going to take off these, um, you know, the rope and stuff. So um, we're going to do that. We're going to toss that in there. This is slightly frozen. So I'm putting it on a little bit earlier than I would have because it's still, like I said, kind of frozen. Um, and then what we're going to take to put on top of it, I am taking two cans of French onion soup and two cans of, this one's dented, but two cans of cream and mushroom soup. And mix these up in a bowl before you dump them. Just have a bowl and I'm taking the two cans of cream and mushroom and I'm going to just dump them in just a regular bowl. Just so I can, I mean, do you have to do this? No, but I just feel like, I just make sure that everything is mixed closely. And then I'm taking two cans of just French onion and then just mix it little by little. I mix it more so for the uh, cream of mushroom because you know how like if you just dump it in it just kind of sits. I'm just going to add this mixture right over. I'm just making sure. I did hit my um, my crock pot with a little nonstick spray. I'm gonna put this on high for six hours. That's just the rest of the... I'm gonna put this on high for six hours. That's all we have to do for that. I'm just going to throw my lid on. I like to make sure it's really tightly sealed, especially because it's still frozen. I'm gonna put this on high for six hours. This is kind of a beef and noodles inspired meal, right? So it's gonna be real savory with the French onion and then give it a little bit of a creaminess with the cream and mushroom. We are going to add in these. I don't know if you guys have ever used these. These are gonna be the first time of me actually trying them. So I'm a little unsure on how to actually do them. I just know that I don't want them to be mush. So what I think I'm going to do is probably the last hour before I'm going to serve it up, I'm gonna dump these noodles in there. But we'll see how it goes. Um, you could also do just like egg noodles or pasta noodles, whatever you wanted to do, or rice or whatever. But I want to try these. These are found at Target as well, but I had seen them and I wanted to give them a whirl. But dinner is on and we are ready to start our day. Good morning, pals. How are you guys? So we're getting ready. Today is Monday, we have a busy day. Um, you guys see me get up this morning. I had therapy. <sighs> Sometimes you just gotta let it out and I love it. I love my therapy days because, you know, even if they're not like the best and like they're hard topics, you still feel like good. And I woke up really anxious today. You know how when you, you ever wake up where you feel like you're already late, like you're already behind and you're like, <gasps> and you jump up? That's how I felt this morning. And it was three o'clock and I've been feeling like that all day. Um, I have some stuff that's like settling up and like personal stuff like and I think today is like finally the wrap up and once this is done I guess we can talk about it but I just gotta look today is like the final day I think and it should be wrapped but we're gonna get ready for the day it is our second leg day of the week I'm doing three leg days a week and it's it's very challenging I'm not gonna lie it's been very challenging but we're gonna get to it I'm actually gonna pick up my dad we're gonna work out together today getting ready to start my day and I wanted to take my morning vitamins. These are the vitamins that I have been enjoying. Now, I, this is now my second month with them. They are the Gem Eat Your Nutrients. I have been telling you guys and I highly recommend that you guys try them out for the reason they are completely different than traditional multivitamins. This is not a pill, this is not a powder, this is not a gummy. With traditional pills, powders, gummies, there's a lot of synthetic fillers and they're really not allowing you to get the proper absorption and even get the actual vitamins you need. If you're anything like me, every time I take a multi for years, I would get sick. Even if I ate them with a meal, I would always get nauseous. So I would end up having to take my vitamins at night before I go to bed because they just made me feel so awful and with these I do not have to do it I want to show you guys exactly what these look like these are like little bites this is not fillers so you're able to get optimal absorption the fact that these are actually vitamins that you could eat these are things that you can be found in nature that are all that are going to give you the vitamins you need you're going to get optimal absorption now you know if you take any of the other vitamins you know you go to the bathroom you like your peas neon yellow right you have the stuff that you are taking like over the counter these pills um gummies powders you don't you don't absorb anything you just it just goes right through your kidneys just 
you just let it go. So at least with taking these, you are actually going to get the absorption. You are gonna get the maximum amount of nutri nutrition that you need. They are using real food so you can get real nutrients that your body not only loves, because it recognizes it. These are things found in nature. These are the things that you can go shopping the supermarket for and you could see it in real life. Let me tell you some of the things that are in there that I thought were really impressive. Beta-glucan, turmeric, pumpkin seeds, citrus, prebiotics, probiotics, mushrooms, golden chlorella, quinoa, stone fruit and dates, black pepper, chickpeas and vitamin K2, ginger and spices, and sunflower vitamin E, okay? Um, they also have like a nutrition label, so if you were just wondering like what the macros are looking like or anything like that, you will see it. Also right here, it's telling you everything that's in it. What I love is everything that's in it, you can pronounce. Like you can recognize dried apricots. You can recognize uh, ginger, chicory root. These are all things that you can pronounce. These are not some crazy thing that you don't know what you're putting in your body. They're really good. Um, they're actually a lot, they taste a lot better than you would actually think. They're super good. They have a, like a citrusy um, taste to it. They cause no stomach issues at all, which I love. Um, I don't have any, like shaky doesn't cause like a headache. You know how some vitamins cause like a post headache, nauseous, anything like that. Not at all. They also have a couple different items too that I was looking at that I wanted to tell you guys about. They have an energy aid bite and they have a, that's a chocolate sea salt. Mm -hmm. With these, they don't even taste like like a vitamin. They, you know how like some things they, when they taste healthy for you, they taste healthy. These just taste like a nice like treat. So I bet you that chocolate sea salt one would be good. And then there, there's green tea for caffeine. This would be a nice alternative for, you know, skipping your afternoon coffee or maybe even, you know, like a pre-workout, something like that. Ginseng root, cacao, cacao, L-theanine, prebiotics, dates, kelp, pumpkin seeds, and Himalayan's pink salt. And then they have the chill out bites that has magnesium in it, banana, um, lemon balm, cinnamon, golden chlorella, coconut. I love that. I love that. There are really great alternatives. I'm always preaching to you guys, eat your protein, skip the drinks, skip the bars, eat real food. Eat, re eat real food, okay? I always tell you guys, don't do the bars, don't do the shakes, eat your protein, eat your vegetables. You know, there's, eat real food, okay? Eat real food. But I did want to tell you, you guys want to try them out they are going to give you a discount. And I also wanna thank them for sending these over for me to try, for me to share with you. Again, this is month two and I've been loving them. I wanna keep on with them because they're really good and they're really easy to take and I enjoy them. So if you guys want to try them, you guys can. Right now, Gem is offering 50% off your first month. So go to dailygem.com backsplash Daniela and use my code Daniela at checkout and get your one, get yourself one. I guarantee you, you're gonna like them. I promise, they're so, so, so delicious and you feel really good. They taste good and you feel good eating them. All right, let's get our day started. We just dropped off Rebecca. She is at school. I let her pick her music and her music is so funny compared to like everybody else's. Sophia will pick like Elvis. Becky's listening to Grupo Frontera. Rayo will be like Hosier. I gotta text my dad and tell him I'm on my way. On my way. Okay, so we're gonna go to the gym. That's on our list to do. And then, so we're gonna do the gym. Today's leg day. I ate breakfast before we left because I was starving. Um, I should probably scoot up, I'm sorry, lady. Um, I ate breakfast already, so we'll be good. Um, we're gonna go to Trader Joe's today. I gotta get a couple things. My kit, well, three of the kids. So I have a kid in college, a kid in high school, and a kid in primary school. My primary school kid is off all next week. My high schooler and my college kid are off. Well, Rhea starts, Rhea's break starts on Tuesday next week. Um, and then Sophia starts, that's the high schooler, she starts on Wednesday. So um, she's actually got, Sophie, the high schooler, actually has an e-learning day today. So she's off like from home, she's at home. Um, they shut down traffic by her school. So um, she's at e-learning day. Becky's at school, Rhea has work. I just need a couple groceries. Rhea has her friends over next week. Like, they, like all the kids have their friends over during that time. So I just need a couple staples. But anyways, let me get to the gym because we need to go. <laughs> I wish I had the same delusion that I do when I was two and didn't think that I could ruin 
anything at all I could never fall I wish I had that same conviction Convinced I never need a fixin' Yeah, that girl really knew her business Where did she go? Yeah, she thought she could do anything Thought she could get anywhere Confident she's number one And if nothing, everybody's wrong Used to be calm, now I can't remember How I used to do it that I was a member Of Confidence Club, cause that don't last forever I wish I saw what she saw I wish I knew what she knew I love how she just owned it But sadly I've grown it I know I'm still that girl But I don't know how to show it Like she knew Like she knew, she knew, she knew Wasn't really ready, no, I had to grow Up but it's so heavy and I'm feeling low Unlearning all that was wrong for me are you good so far? Okay, we are back in the car. Did you guys see how many freaking people were inside Trader Joe's? Sophie, could we, could we address this to our friends? I thought the population was declining. Why there's so many people? Even at cashier, and it's pouring down rain. And I don't know, I don't, I don't, people, I don't know if people stop knowing how to drive by you when it's raining, but over here, not a single soul knows how to drive. And then, aside from that, they were just leaving their carts in the... Girl, it was just too much. And you know Trader Joe's is always small anyways. So, yeah. What are you doing, girl? Why'd you back in if you were going to put your groceries in the back of your cart? Anyways, I need a little snack because I was getting a little hangry in there. So I got some... Ram they're called the Rambutans. Rambutans, Rambutans. Have you guys... I showed you guys these before. Want one, Sophie? Sure. These were five dollars. So you take the skin off, and then there's like this seed, and then you eat the flesh, and then you take this little seed out. It's still going all over me. Yeah, well, these the are pretty heck. fresh. Trader Joe's very disappointed. One star. It's getting all over me. All right, we're gonna go home. I'm I tired. I did it. Usually, I could just stick my nail and kind of pop the skin off. But, oh, her nails are too healthy now, guys. Really too healthy. Mm, 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 mm. We spent $75 in there. Five of them was this Rambutans. But we needed a healthy <laughs> snack, right, Toby? Oh, yeah, definitely. If you guys are girls watching this, if you guys are girls, if you're, you know, um, it's O day, like O time. And I think this is my peak day Ooh. because I am tired, so tired, like everything at the gym. I know like certain people, let me ask you guys, maybe it's because like I'm at like, I'm like entering perimenopause. I got my hormones checked in September and they're all normal, like optimal range. So it's not, I'm not, they're not declining. Um, but like, I don't know if it's because like I'm at the, t I'm about to hit perimenopause. My body's like have babies because like, oh, time for me is worse than PMS. I'm tired, I'm bloated, I'm hungry, I feel weak. Yeah, it's like all the things. Are you guys like that as well? I am maybe TMI, I'm sorry. But <laughs> Sophia's probably uncomfortable. No, that's silly. Oh, oh no. No! Mm -mm. Gross. <coughs> I jumped in the seed. You didn't fall, I hear you. No. Let's go home. Okay, we are home. I only got two bags. It was 75 bucks, but I figured I would. I wanted to share with you a couple of things I got because I knew I needed them for next week. I'm glad I went this week because it was so crazy in there. But I went for just some of the staples. I got two things of the chicken fried rice. These are just a quick meal for my kids. Um, I got two things of the orange chicken. Again, it's really quick and easy. Next thing we got, these are new, but I've seen these before, and I know Leo and the kids probably would like them. These are the seasoned corn ribs. Have you guys tried these? I got them for Leo and the girls. I figured they can try them as a side for dinner this week. So I picked those up. I got, so these are for the girls, right? Rhea loves the butter chicken from Trader Joe's. I got two of those for her. For the whole thing is 400 calories and she likes them. I got these for myself. I mix these in with like my breakfast in the morning. I just add them. They're just the 
fire roasted peppers and onions. They're really good and they're just a nice way to get some extra vegetable. I got for my son, you guys know I always get a couple of these. These are the salmon jerky. They smell like fish food, but my son loves them. And they're literally just salmon. There you go. Oh, he's all wet. Don't let him on my white blanket on the couch. Oh, I got two of those fire roasted potato or fire roasted peppers. Um, these were Sophia's picks. She likes the reduced guilt mac and cheese. For the whole thing of these is 270 calories. And then Becky requested the chicken dumpling, the chicken soup dumplings. So they can have these for me. Ooh, yeah. Excuse me. They can have these as she can have these as meal. These are 250. The kids all love them. They're they say they're really, really good. That's my other thing in my rice. I got these for the girls. Little advent calendars. They were only a dollar ninety-nine. So I got three the same, and then I got this one for my nephew. So just a little thing to do. I'm gonna see them this weekend, so I figured um he could do that. And then the rambutans. Uh there's a few left in here, they're just too hard. So let's sit and kind of ripen a bit. And these are my absolute favorite. I got two of these. These are the hot and sweet jalapenos. They're so good. I love to add that. I'm actually gonna eat right now. So I'm gonna have those. And all right, the advent calendars, oh, they're $1.29 each. I got four of them, so they were $5.16. The chicken fried rice were $3.99. The orange chicken was $4.99. The salmon jerky is $3.99. The corn ribs, were $3.99. The roasted bell peppers are $2.49. The jalapenos were $3.29. The dumplings were $3.49 each. The mac and cheese was $2.29. That's actually really good. $2.29. The butter chicken was $4.49. The rambus hands were $5. Those are really expensive. So $75, $74, So my budget was a standard 100 and the fact that it was so crazy in there made it easy for me to stay in your budget. But yeah. Um, again, I just got those because, like I said, my kids get, my, my youngest gets a whole week off next week. And these kids, you know, they just want to stay eating out, you know, like, that's it. They don't want to heat up dinner from the night before. And I'm not spending a whole week in the kitchen, especially with Thanksgiving coming next week. And we go to, like, we have, next week we're not only having Thanksgiving, but we're also having the girls' birthdays next weekend. And I'm making tamales, so I don't have the room in my fridge. I'm gonna put those advent calendars on top of my refrigerator because they'll get into them. But I'm just gonna go throw these downstairs in the freezer for them. But that was it. Nothing really exciting. But I like I said, these are really nice. I think Trader Joe. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think Trader Joe's is like protein, like their meats. I think it's really expensive. Yeah, I think they're really expensive. I I wouldn't do my groceries there. Um, but I think just for like these kinds of things for the kids or like little pickups you know like the frozen section i think is really reasonable but i think some of their produce is really really high i think their meats are really high but like their little seasonal stuff or like their frozen stuff i think is pretty reasonable um price and i think it's really good and my kids like it but um i guess if maybe you're a single if it was only you and another spot like another person it'll be more affordable but for my whole family there ain't no way their portions are really it's just no way for a family of five and the way we eat ain't no way we could afford it I just went through and chopped up that roast because some of it was falling apart and some of it wasn't. And I didn't want like certain pieces to be bigger than the others or not, you know, as well flavored. So I just went through and just kind of broke it up with my knife and shredded it up so all the bits can absorb the gravy. And I turned my temp on low. Now, if you were just gonna go to work and drop this in here, I just wanna make sure that everything's all set and to go when um, Becky gets home from school and then Leo gets home from work, Rhea gets home from work because Rhea does, um, she, uh, like, I don't know if you say she, I don't know how you would word it, but she works like a youth group um, through the church that she attends. And um, on Monday she has that, like she works with the high schoolers and it's really good because it's going to help with her like scholarship. So anyways, um, I just turned my temp on low. I'm going to clean that off. And I'm just going to put my lid back on. I'm not going to add my noodles just yet. I'll probably wait. It's only 12.30 and I put this on right at 7. 
Um, I think I'll probably put my noodles on around two. So we'll let this sit. Girl, I don't even got you. We'll let this sit a couple more hours. Um, and then I'll add the noodles. Am I the only one that struggles with computers? Because I feel like it's like an everyday occurrence where I'm like, ah, oh, technology. Okay, so these are those, I don't know, Reams? Rim, I got these at Target, okay? I seen them on Pinterest and I thought I'll give them a, a whirl. So I'm just gonna pour, I guess, the whole bag in here. This is the first time I've ever used these. I may have just made an epic mistake. If I did, then don't do it too, right? All right, but I figured too that this will kind of thicken it up. And if I feel like it has to be thickened up a little bit more, I might just add a little bit of cornstarch to it. Um, but we'll see, let these noodles expand and like absorb some of this broth. The meat is like, I look at this. I need y'all to see, okay? Cause when Danielle says crock pot, I ain't saying mush. Look at that baby, just falling apart. You just pull that right off, see that? But it's not mush, it still has, you know, structure to it, but it's not mush. The one thing about my man, he don't like, mushy that's mostly the reason why leo doesn't like crock pot stuff because he feels like it's mushy and i kind of agree with him like if you put chicken in here it's going to turn to mush if it's if you just leave it in here for 15 hours if i cook chicken in the crock pot i leave it frozen because it gets mushy so anyways i just put these in i figured about an hour it should take let's throw the lid back on here and we're gonna let it we're gonna let her cook I am happy to inform you guys that I just got a call and remember the stuff I was talking to you about earlier? It is finally over. I don't know if I actually like want to put all of it out there, but um, it's over. 20 years later and I will never have to deal with people again. I will never have to worry about dealing with these people again. Me and my kid are free and clear. So, love to hear it. The next vlog that you should see after this is going to be kind of crazy. So what I'm going to do today, you guys know I have extensions in my hair. These are extensions, right? Um, but my hair is not that short. I feel like I don't give my natural hair length enough credit because let me show you. These are only about an inch or two longer than my natural hair. So this is my hair. My hair is probably about 20 and a half, 21 inches, and these are 22. So my hair, right? And then you grab an extension. And then an extension piece, right? So it, it's, they're really only a little bit off. So I feel like I need a change in my hair. We're gonna talk about this in another vlog, but I, I don't wanna dye it. Like I was blonde for so long. If you guys are new here, baby, go back and look. I, I, my hair is finally grown. Like I'm still growing out damage. Like we're still rebounding from years of bleach. So I don't want to put any bleach in my hair. I keep my hair the same color. I just touch up my roots. Sometimes I'll put like um a gloss over it just to give it a little shine. But that's it. I haven't gotten a professional haircut. What year is this? 2024 three years, maybe four. And, and honestly, the last cut that I got professionally was just a little bit for like a fringe. My sister did it. Um, if you guys did not know, my sister is a hairstylist. She's the one who installs my extensions. My sister, she doesn't work. She doesn't really work behind. She does work behind the chair, but she only does it like part time a few times a month. Um, she has like a, a full time job as well. Still in the hair industry, but not behind a chair. So it's really hard. And my sister doesn't live um, she lives quite a bit. My sister moved quite a bit like south from me, like quite a bit. She's probably about a good 40-ish plus minutes away. So um, I don't see her as often. I maybe see her a couple times a month, whereas if you guys have been here a while, my sister would be over here like four or five times a week. So um, she's, my sister's having a baby. My sister's getting married. My sister lives like 45 minutes away. So life's just different now, right? Um, Rihanna's gonna be a mama. I can't wait, I'm having a fun little niece. Her name's Brooklyn, oh, I can't wait. And yeah, so life's changed for her. Um, and it's, I just feel like I need to change so I don't really bother her too often. Like she'll put in my extensions and then I just lift them myself and stuff. And she reinstalled them right after Halloween. And I just, oh, 
I just feel like with these extensions, like I can't like do my hair back like this because you'll see like the tracks or whatever. And if you fold them back, you'll get lifting. And I just want like, I want fuller, like I want like, just like a butterfly cut. I want layers, like long layers and face framing, like a shorter, like right here, um, curtain bang, lots of movement, okay? So I'm gonna take out my extensions and I booked myself an appointment to get my hair cut. When I tell you I'm low-key so nervous about this haircut tomorrow, because like what if this lady gives me a mullet? I don't think it'll be bad. It's, it's a pretty basic haircut. It's not like I'm asking her to give me a pixie or anything. Could you imagine? Um, and like worst comes to worst, I'll just, run my sister's on vacation this week and I could ask her but I just hate asking her to do stuff like hey what are you doing oh since you're not working and you're pregnant you want to um and my sister's like like pregnant pregnant she's like 21 weeks you know so I want to like you know what I mean right so I'm gonna go to get myself a haircut I'm gonna go to a salon let them blow me out give me a nice all that I gotta take out my extensions so we're gonna do that today and I'm going to dye my roots. Now, you guys have seen me dye my roots and take out extensions or move extensions up forever. They're really easy. All you have to do, honestly, is you see these beads. Can you see them? Yeah. She put blonde beads in this time. I didn't give a shit. Um, you see these beads? You just literally, let me, sh let me show you. Um, you just take them and you pinch them open and they literally slide right out. I know I have a bead that's sliding right now anyways, which just happens. Um, you just pinch them and slide it out and that kind of was hold it in and you just guide them down. I'm gonna wait until Leo gets home because she does like she does put thread through them and sometimes the thread's like added to my hair and I don't wanna get stuck with them, stuck in there. So um, yeah, we're gonna do that, but I'm really excited. I'm really excited for the haircut. I'll show you. I have like a ton of pictures, but again, stay tuned because we're gonna do it in a vlog. This is my sissy, anyways. You guys ever see my sissy? Isn't she a stunner? That's my sister. Isn't she beautiful? You know what I always tell her name is Rhiannon, like the song. You guys may have seen her in old videos too. Or was her birthday yesterday? She turned 32, my little baby sister. This is, you guys remember this mukbang me and her did? There's me during my blonde times. I guess we'll go down. There's, there's us again. My sister is like a cool rock star. It's me, her, and my mama. I know, I'm like a wildebeest compared to everybody else in my family. Here's a flashback. You guys want to see Danielle when I had just had Rhea. I was freshly 20 years old. There's Rhea, my sister. She was 12. My parents at 42. It's a year older than what I am right now. Look at how chubby my dad was. Now my dad's like in killer shape. I'm so proud of the big guy. Um, okay, one more. One more. This is one of my favorites. That's my dad's mom. That's our Yaya. We're not Greek. She's actually 100% Irish, but my sister called her Yaya and it's stuck. But there's me looking like a little punk. I got the Adidas uh, tracksuit that year with the breakaway pants. You couldn't tell me nothing. Anyways, um, yeah, that's, that's that. Let me show you the haircut I'm going to get. I am so... This is my niece. Doesn't she look like me? That's my niece. That's Brooklyn. She looks just like her mom. She doesn't look like her little, she looks like her TT. I love her so bad already. Okay. Oh God, I'm so sick right now about this haircut. I'm not even gonna lie. This is like what I'm thinking. You see this? Lots of layers, lots of movement. Cause I've been curling, like doing my hair focus. But like these curls, I'm just, I need something different. I need something different and we're gonna get some, I'm, I'm feeling so sick right now, I'm feeling so anxious. So if you guys are going through anything in life right now, just know that you're gonna persevere. You're gonna persevere and you're gonna do great, girl. Don't let nobody tell you any different. I wanted to give you guys an update on the crock pot meal. I did go through and I added a package of the French onion soup mix. I'll show you what the box looks like. I'm sure you guys know if this very much tastes like a beef stroganoff, um, that's kind of what I'm gonna call it, like a crock pot beef stroganoff. I added one of these and then I added a little bit of sour cream, just a little splash, just to give it a little bit of more creamier flavor. And then I added some salt and pepper to taste and it tastes absolutely perfect. I wanna show you the consistency and I threw my crock pot on warm. They don't expand like the traditional noodles do, which I thought they were going to, but they did thicken it up and that's what everything is looking like.
just like beef stroganoff. I'm gonna add just a little bit of parsley just to kind of bring it together, but that's it. And it's done. Um, and then I'm just gonna serve it in a bowl. I will say this, if you didn't wanna add the noodles, you don't have to. You can do this with egg noodles and be like a traditional beef stroganoff, or you could do like a mash and add this over top and just use the gravy. Super simple, super easy, and it's a ton. It's a ton, so probably what I'm gonna do is we'll have dinner. We'll have it for dinner tonight, and then um, tomorrow's gonna be eat what you want night, because I have like quite a few things left in there, and I'm probably gonna send a big chunk of this over to my parents, um, and they can eat it as well. And then whatever, if I have some left, I'll just freeze it and then I reheat it. I do a lot of that lately, guys. Don't sleep on freezing your stuff. I think a lot of people don't do that and I don't understand why. Like I, when I made Laura Vitale's red sauce, I ended up saving a big chunk of it. Like I had a good portion of it left and I freezed it. And then yesterday I had some ground beef. I threw that and mixed it in with the sauce and I had it with pasta and that's what they had for Sunday dinner. And it was still a fresh homemade sauce. It was just made prior so don't sleep on that you know work smarter not harder especially with the holidays coming this would be a perfect thing to freeze and reheat at a later date so i might actually send some over to my sister and my brother-in-law too because so then she doesn't have to cook you guys remember those meals so threw it on warm that is good to go I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's video and just call it a day. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I I am just so like, you know, like that's just how I feel. And my anxiety was really like, I think it's because I have all this stuff going on. It was like at like tip top level. I've been up since three. I'm like exhausted. And now I'm just like shaky. Like, I don't know. I need to unwind. I need to unwind. I have like maybe another hour of work left to do on the computer. Um, we have to get everything in for like holidays and payroll and all that stuff because last week was Veterans Day. So if you get, I told you guys I do a little bit of stuff. Um, I work from home for a company um, a few days a week, just part time. So it's 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 really fun. It's really like it's nice to just have like a regular like nine to five, you know. Not like nine to five, but you know what I mean. It's it's still ways for me to be able to be home, to be able to get my kids all around, but still like contribute to the household. So not everything falls on my husband. And thanks to you guys, because by being here and watching these videos and stuff like that, you guys help me contribute to my family as well. So thanks for paying for Sophie's braces. Love you guys. All right, uh, I will leave a link for everything down below. Check out Gem, guys. Eat your nutrients, okay? If you guys are struggling, your vitamins shouldn't make you sick. Okay, I'm telling you that right now. Your pee shouldn't be like a neon yellow because that means you're peeing out a lot of stuff. You want to really absorb these things and I think that's where Gem stands apart from everyone else where it's like nutrient dense, going exactly, going to do exactly what it needs to do. I love you guys. Oh my God. What a day. <laughs>